What's up guys and welcome back to Wall Street Millennial. We just published a video on GameStop today, but in light of recent developments, we just had to make another video. GameStop had a wild ride today on the news that mega hedge funds Citadel and Point72 are doubling down on their short positions and Chamath Palahapatiya tweeted that he bought into GameStop calls. This news was a catalyst for yet another short squeeze that sent the shares almost doubling in today's trading session. But after market closed, things got even crazier. Shortly after 4pm, none other than Elon Musk himself tweeted GameStonk. One might think that such a short and seemingly innocuous tweet would have little impact on a $10 billion market cap company like GameStop. And you would be right if the tweet was anyone other than Lord Elon Musk. Musk's tweets have a long history of moving markets. Literally earlier today, on January 27th, before the market opened, he tweeted that he recently purchased a handmade helm for his dog on the e-commerce website Etsy. That tweet sent shares up more than 8% at market open, although it quickly gave up its gains over the course of the trading day. Ironically, GameStop to the Moon merchandise has been one of the top trending categories on Etsy in the past couple days. Furthermore, in July of last year, Elon tweeted this meme about cryptocurrency Dogecoin and the coin immediately skyrocketed in value. In just this past December, he wrote on his Twitter profile that he is the former CEO of Dogecoin, which sent the coin up more than 20%. So it should come as no surprise that this latest tweet about GameStop had a significant positive impact. On the Wall Street Bets forum, people are going berserk about the massive victory rally. OG GameStop bull Deep Effing Value posted an update on his position, long 800 contracts of $12 strike calls and 50,000 shares of GameStop. This legend is now worth $23 million on this position, up from $50,000 originally invested in September of 2019. Commenter Will Geyser comments that the alpha move after these 9-figure gains would be to buy Gabe Plotkin's house in Miami, then tear it down and open a GameStop on it. Gabe Plotkin is the founder of Melvin Capital, which has lost hundreds of millions of dollars shorting GameStop so far. The rail against short sellers and particularly Melvin Capital continues, with a recent post declaring Melvin Capital down another 25% since Citadel and Point72 bailed them out a day ago. However, this is based on a share price of $103.46. Since then, the stock has more than doubled and now stands at $225 a share in after-hours trading. In another highly upvoted post, a Wall Street Bets user calls attention to the fact that outside forces are trying to draw attention away from GameStop by spamming posts on other stocks. Given the hype in the forum recently, and the fact that the number of members of the Wall Street Bets forum has grown from 2 million to 2.4 million in the past week alone, I don't think anyone needs to worry about attention coming away from GameStop in the foreseeable future. Another Wall Street Bets user filed a complaint with the SEC regarding Melvin Capital, claiming that the volume of shorting on GameStop counts as illegal market manipulation. The complaint specifies that abusive naked short selling has caused seven instances of trading being halted on the exchanges, and that there are concerns of Melvin using $2.75 billion of additional capital to continue these behaviors. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this video. I am not a financial advisor, and all I'll say about the stock is that it is obviously extremely volatile. As fun as it's been to see the short sellers destroyed by this squeeze, it is important to remember anything that goes up can also come down. We will be following the GameStop story closely over the next few weeks, so stay tuned and hit the subscribe button for updates. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Wall Street Millennial, signing out.